a minute to kind of do a little video here. Uh, I'm sure some of you have kind of seen the various videos that are floating around, you know, someone's abuela or something out there making a mask out of items that they've already got laying around. Um, you know, not too long ago, you could just go to the store and you could buy masks all day long. Uh, obviously, that's more of an issue now. So they're doing a lot of things to kind of show you how to make a, a mask at home. Uh, everything from using paper towels, maybe you got an old scarf laying around, uh, socks, uh, these big, big plastic bags, they work fantastic. They can just go right over completely. Um, what a lot of people are doing in the videos that I'm seeing is they're taking paper towels and like rubber bands uh, or, or hair bands or whatever. And let me just kind of show you. You're gonna, you're gonna take one of two layers because uh, that's gonna give you even, even more protection. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna fold it over just like that. Okay, you with me so far? You're gonna take this, fold that in. Stop it, get some help. And once you realize how ridiculous it is to be making a mask out of paper towels or whatever else you have laying around, like it's gonna help, maybe you'll just stop. And then you'll go wash your hands with soap and water. And go social distance, stay away from people you don't need to. If you need to run to the store, go get your item. You don't need to be browsing the clearance section for 20 minutes, just go home. Maybe you got you a nice big jar of hater tears. These are probably like 8,000 proof moonshine from Tennessee. Just that'll kill any bacteria, any viruses, any diseases. I can almost guarantee it. May kill some brain cells too, but uh, find other ways to occupy your time instead of making masks that you think is going to help prevent coronavirus from getting to you. Till next time, it's your boy Panda.